half in the bag. We'll let the dogs out. Huh. What's so interesting? Well, I read this entire book only to get to the end and find out that ghosts aren't real. Guess I am a dummy. Oh my gosh, there's a chapter in here about what to do if you're stuck in a haunted hotel. Oh my lord. With ghosts from all centuries there to feast on your fear. Health hazards from ghost hunting, allergies, dust and mold. Does it have anything about uh, asbestos? About vision and how he got haunted so hard that he had to wear glasses. He got haunted so hard by a demon that it fucked his vision up. He was definitely haunted by a ghost so hard that it ruined his vision. Jay, you simpleton! It wasn't a ghost; it was a demon. Oh, oh! Now there's some good uh, North Korean films too. Obey or Die. Oh, that's a good one. You know, yeah. my me and my nuke, mm. America. The Devil Machine, you know, it's, they're all by uh, Kim Jong Un. Yeah, so they're, all, they're all his films. Well, that's what I'm speaking of you know filmmakers with an individual voice. Yeah. Obey or Die is one of the, the biggest films in North Korea. It's been playing in the theaters for ten years. Oh Number my God. one. Number one at the box office. Sure, sure. It, every showing is packed. Yeah. Every showing. Every. I showing. mean, it's mandatory that they go, but. What? Half in the bag. Okay, Mike, put your credit card in. Only $20 and we can both watch the movie. Jay, are you sure that putting my credit card into this unsecured website so that we could watch Corey Feldman's fake documentary is really the best idea? Of course. If we can't trust Corey Feldman, who can we trust? You make a valid point. <clears throat> It's all set up. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I'm, 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 I'm putting my credit card and personal information into Corey Feldman's unsecured website. <clears throat> okay, here we go. I'm submitting my credit card information. Okay. Oh, the website's been hacked. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, God, now it crashed. I expected more from a GeoCities website. Now how are we going to see the list of names of all the Hollywood pedophiles? <laughs> Silly, Jay. All you need to do is look at the credits of any movie. That's right, Mike. That's a lot of names. I wonder if my credit card is safe. Hello? Yes? Fraud alert? $19,000 worth of untraceable Visa gift cards? Purchased in Bangladesh? Why, well, yes, that was me. I approve those charges. Yeah, I did that yesterday. <laughs> Thanks for calling. I appreciate the extra security concerns. <laughs> what? I like to get an early start on my Christmas gifts. Did you hear that? The Sounded like someone like hit a snare drum and did a tsh. Somebody playing drums outside? Is somebody playing drums outside? And now it's totally silent. You know, it's ironic. So many pedophiles in Hollywood and they're all thinking big. Well, Mike, maybe we should go out and see the Invisible Man before it disappears from theaters. He must have put his drum set away. It was all done. Oh my God! I'm sick! I've got the Macarena virus! Uh, Mr. Plinkett, I, I, I think you mean the coronavirus. Oh no, I've got that too though. Oh. <laughs>
Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Oh, don't touch me. Oh, I'm sorry! Oh, he touched sorry. my fucking eyes! Oh, he touched oh, your face! You're not what supposed to touch me? your face! I didn't touch me. Oh, God! Oh, Jesus I, Christ, he keeps touching us! I shouldn't rub my eyeballs! Oh, Jesus! I'll get that for you! Oh, no, no! I'll get your eyes! Oh, God! Oh, Oh, God! Oh, that's right, there's a horrible virus sweeping the earth. Maybe we should just, you know, stay in here and watch something that's streaming. Well, if we can't go out and see The Invisible Man in theaters, why don't we watch some other Blumhouse movies? I hear there's a bunch of them on Hulu. If they're direct to Hulu movies with the Blumhouse name on them, they have to be good, right? <coughs> 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 Jay, is there really such a thing as the Macarena virus? I think there was, maybe like in the mid 90s, but they eradicated it. Oh, was that before or after that horrible outbreak of Chumbawamba? Kill me! <laughs> oh no, guys! Now I've got a third illness! What is it now? The Harlem Shakes. <laughs> hey, hey, maybe he's got an achy, breaky heart. <laughs> no, I've got pneumonia. <coughs> oh. I've, I've got to go make arrangements at the funeral home. <coughs> Don't forget to put us in your well. Hey, remember when we used to fix VCRs? Half in the bag. This virus is that insidious. Oh God, don't let it touch me. It's fine. It doesn't live on aluminum for very long. You just need to make sure your fucking disgusting mouth is six feet away from my fucking disgusting mouth. You know how many filthy things I've said over the years? Are we six feet apart? Yes, Jesus we're six Christ. feet. I go six feet two inches just to be safe, even though it's not currently recommended by the CDC. But this is... <sighs> well, Jay, it's April 15th, the official peak of the pandemic. We lost so many people in the entertainment industry. And I can't believe those celebrities in the Imagine video all got COVID-19. Oh, I know. But that second video they made, where they were all singing We Are The World into their ventilators, Oh, that was so cringy. I mean, come on. There's so many useless old people out there that need those ventilators. And I can't believe we lost Betty White, too. What? We lost her inside her mansion. I mean, she's perfectly healthy. They just don't know what room she's in because she's got a big house. Yeah, they can't find her. They can't they find her, her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My bet is on the crafting room in the basement. Yeah, yeah, she loves crafting. <laughs> she loves her crafts. <laughs> oh, uh, and did you hear Brian Singer also got COVID-19. Not Brian. Yeah, although he was a little disappointed. He was hoping for COVID-17 or maybe COVID-16, as long as it keeps its fucking mouth shut. And it was such a shame when that mob of infected homeless people stormed Kim Kardashian's house and burned... Oh. Who is it? Are you expecting someone? No, are you? Fuck no. I guess it's my turn, right? Who is it? Postal service, got a package. Just leave it outside the fucking door! No, uh, you've got a sign for it. Sign for it? Are you fucking kidding me? Just slide it under the door! Or I'll pump your belly full of coronavirus, I mean lead! I'll pump your belly full of lead! Why are you still delivering packages anyways? You got a death wish?
<laughs> just a minute, just. Nice. You gotta do the process, you know? All right, now it's time to open the package. So what'd you get in the mail? Oh, I finally got Veronica on Blu-ray. Oh, yeah, that. It's streaming on Amazon. What? <sighs> Fuck physical media. That looks like a horribly dangerous way to open your beer. <laughs> How dare you laugh at that? <laughs> you. you sick, <laughs> sick fuck. Oh. The fuck is calling? I don't know, I thought everybody was dead. Landlines still work? Well, it's your turn. Okay. It's a debt collector, I'm dead. Hello? Hello! It's me, Mr. Plinkett! I'm trapped in Tijuana! Mr. Plinkett, what are you doing in Tijuana? I went down to Mexico to get some of those chloroquine pills on the cheap, but they sold me a prescription for a bottle full of kitty litter! Um, I'm sorry, what do you want me to do about it? Jay, don't forget to wipe down the fucking phone when you're done! They won't let me cross the border and, oh God, no one's starting to develop a cough. <laughs> uh, uh, we can't help you, Mr. Plinkett. We boarded up your house. Bye, good luck. Hey, you know what the worst part of this whole coronavirus situation is? Uh, collapsing industries, possible depression, the staggering loss of life. No. It's that Glenn Danzig won't be able to make another movie for a long time. Now did you wipe down the fucking phone receiver properly? As instructed by the CDC manual? Not just the handle, but the receiver and the transmuter of the phone receiver. Half in the bag. Mike, why aren't you on your phone? You should be calling and texting people. Don't you realize it's the last day before the government shuts off the cell phone towers? I know, I know. They found out that the 5G network really is spreading coronavirus. Who the fuck cares? Fuck my cell phone. Everyone I know is dead anyway. Fuck! Well, even still, today is a day of mourning. It's been exactly one month since China sent 500 naval ships filled with hundreds of thousands of people infected with the coronavirus to the beaches of California. They flooded the state, just fucking coughing on everyone. And now almost everyone in California is dead and the virus is slowly making its way east. Yeah, and yet still Disney is altering their movies to appeal to the Chinese market. But think of all the celebrities we've lost. Who will be the guiding light to our wayward souls during these troubling times? Come on, road, I can go. Let's go eat some fried fish. Who will entertain us with their hilarious and uplifting videos filmed from inside their gigantic mansions? Or doing a live stream where they talk about themselves. You know, to raise money for bird sanctuary charities. 
the complete lack of worry on their smiling faces as they know deep in their hearts that they have enough money to never have to work again and to never leave their house if they don't need to. And it doesn't make me despise them at all. Yeah, the truly tragic part is that without maids and groundskeepers, they'll have to clean their own homes. I get kind of choked up when I think about Bette Midler having to push a vacuum around her 40,000 square foot house. Hey, what are you, what are you watching? Oh, you know, I'm watching that new Invisible Man film in 4K, no less. Mike, I don't think that- Jay, Jay. Just let me have this. Part get the it's a little wavy lines waiting. And my favorite scene. It's a scene when the invisible man is invisible. He's walking around doing stuff. He's up to no good, that invisible man. Oh, just lost signal. No more cell phone service. This is just a paperweight now. <laughs> My phone's ringing. Hello? Mom and Dad? Oh boy, it sure is great to hear from you, especially after all those years ago when you told me that you no longer had a son. What's that? You're proud of me? I'm not an embarrassing failure? Ah, oh, it's so good to have closure on this matter after all these years. Well, you two stay safe. Okay, bye. I'm getting a signal. Maybe you shouldn't have used Sprint. Mike, I'm not getting any service. I really don't, ah, oh, never mind. Hey, since you're watching The Invisible Man, why don't we talk about that and some of the other things we've been watching while we're stuck in Mr. Plinkett's house. What a great conclusion to this wacky setup. Stand your side of the fence. This chicken wire is medical grade. Nothing can pass through it. Not even droplets from coronavirus. What should I have to drink? I'm gonna drink another zombie dog. <sighs> Remember before the quarantine when we didn't start drinking till after 3 p.m.? Well, it's what, 7 a.m. now? Yeah. So is that really late from the night before or really er Oh, fuck. What are you doing over there? I can't see you through this fence. You know what Robert Frost said? Fences make good neighbors. And fences keep out coronavirus! Well, the 5G network may be down, but streaming television isn't. All those servers running 24 seven, we're polluting the air with so much carbon. It's like we're flying 20,000 jets every person, every second. Look, we're all stuck inside. What are we supposed to do? Read a book? Go for a walk? Foster animals? Donate to a charity. I want to watch Tiger King, damn it. Half in the bag. Expired pretzels. Ubi cakes. What the fuck's an Ubi keg? It's like a dry sponge. Are you sure it's not just a sponge? Oh God. <laughs> How are we supposed to survive off this, Jay? Beer can only take us so far. That hasn't been proven. Hey, how come most of the beer is on your side? There's some beer right there. Don't you see it? No, that's a walker. No, it's behind the walker. 
There's a lampshade behind the walker. Don't what think I'm not onto you. I got all the beer. You got all the toilet paper. At some point, this is going to come to an impasse. Well, things get really desperate. There's alcohol in hand sanitizer, right? Yeah. I mean, what else am I going to use it for? Oh, no. <sighs> uh, pairings. Spicy food and grilled beef. Well, what about ube cakes? I guess if these are like sponges, they'll come in handy for sanitizing things, you right? Clean some surfaces with them. So there's something about this golden sweet corn. This has been open for six months. Oh, oh. This is like a never ending hell where every day is the same thing. It's like kind of reminds me of that movie. Bill and Ted's bogus journey. I was going to insert joke here. As the lead into Vivarium, but you, you say something that sounds like the plot of Vivarium, but then you say a different movie for comedic sure, effect. Sure, I understand. That's the joke. That works, yeah. you stay on your side, I'll stay on mine, and we'll go back to watching stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tune in here to Amazon or Netflix and... Can you do that with a dial? Yeah, well, I, yeah, I gotta change the inputs. Oh, you know, okay. A, like a, a Netflix and chill, as the kids say, right? Mm, sure. <laughs> I'm gonna watch some stuff. All right. <sighs> At least I still got some of the good stuff here. So what are you watching? Oh, Tiger King again. Oh. <laughs> it's the only thing on. Yeah, oh, yeah. Because Netflix works like a TV station where I can't choose what to watch. Yeah, you know they say if you're sitting for longer than an hour, you should get up and stretch your legs, which is what I'm going to do right oh, now. Oh, I've been sitting for 47 hours. Oh, yeah, i got to stretch my legs. Okay. You give me that, Woodford Reserve! Oh, fuck! Half in the bag. Hi, this is Neil Breen. <laughs> that was a good part, huh? I've never lost the passion, always had it. I have no idea where the passion comes from. My family's not in the business. I don't have any relatives in the business. I don't know anybody in the business. <laughs> oh, that was pretty awesome, huh, Rodney? You know what, you guys, my friends, Betsy, Rodney, Gabe, I love you guys. <laughs> you guys, we go way back. Hey, asshole, will you shut the fuck up over there? Me and my buddies are only on hour three of this five-hour Neil Breen filmmaking course. Oh, fuck! We just started disc two of this home-printed DVD-R. In standard definition. But, but, would you shut up? Hey, why aren't you and any of your stupid friends wearing your fucking masks like you're supposed to? Because we're social differencing. It's distancing, you fucking moron. And you're supposed to be at least six feet apart. Unless you're wearing a mask. Then you could do whatever you want. Uh, wrong. I heard that masks don't do anything. Yeah? Well, I heard that masks do something. Oh, yeah? Well, I read that coronavirus is going to be like HIV and it'll never go away. Oh, yeah? Well, I read that we're supposed to get a vaccine or a cure as early as this summer. I read that we're never going to get a vaccine and that masks and social distancing will be a part of our lives for the next 200 years. Oh, yeah? Well, I read that coronavirus is going to completely die off in the summer months when it's warmer. Oh yeah? Well, I read that temperature has no effect on coronavirus. Well, I read that eventually 80 to 90% of us are going to get coronavirus anyways, no matter what we do. Then we could have herd mutiny. Oh yeah? Well, I read if we all stay home, destroy the economy, and ruin our lives, my 99-year-old grandma will live to be 99 and a half. Yeah, okay. Well, I read that staying at home and staying safe is helping to flatten the curve.
I read that in an article. I read an article that said staying at home or not staying at home, the number of new infections and deaths have been exactly the same. Well, what does it matter? They said that if you get coronavirus, you could still get it again, up to 10 times. Wrong. I read on Facebook that if you get it, then you've got antibodies and you can't get it again. Unless it mutates in the fall into either two or 200 strains. They're not sure which yet. Wrong. I heard up to 2,000 strains. Wrong. Also, if people leave their homes, then new coronaviruses are created. And not just in the Chinese wet markets, in my wet pants. Oh yeah? Well, I read that the majority of people getting sick are the ones staying home. Oh yeah? Well, I read that staying home doesn't necessarily make you safer because the more you're at home, the more susceptible you are to the virus. You know, because you're not building up a tolerance. Yeah, that's what I just said. Huh. Hey, we're on the same page. That's pretty cool. We agree with something. Hashtag alone together. Hashtag in this together. Hashtag alone apart together. Hashtag time's up. Hashtag we got this. Hashtag stay inside, stay alive. Hashtag forever at home. Hashtag no job, no prob. Hashtag think about grandma. Hashtag eyes on Breen. What? Gabe Pretzels? Oh snap! The 7G network is finally online. It's been months since they discovered that the 5G network caused coronavirus. Yeah, and it feels like forever since they found out that the 6G network was attracting murder hornets. Starting up my phone now, I could finally start watching my favorite shows on Quibi again. Oh. Who would have thought that the biggest victim of coronavirus would have been Quibi? Quibi died faster than a grandma on a ventilator. Well, I guess I'll pour one out for Quibi. Eh, on second thought, I don't want to waste a Miller Lite. Hmm. What are you doing? Are you watching Quibi? No, I'm reading the news. Hmm. Looks like the state of Wisconsin Supreme Court struck down the governor's stay-at-home order. You know what? This means that the bars are open, baby! Holy shit, dude, let's go! Uh, oh, we gotta figure out how to get out the front door! Should we bring our friends? Well, yeah, they're our friends! Come on! Come on, Gabe! Gotta get this fucking wall out of the way! Sorry, Gabe! in the bag. Calgon, take me away. Calgon is a space alien. Well, Jay, now that coronavirus is over, I guess we're stuck with a lot of products that have movie tie-ins for movies that will never be released. Like WW84, featuring a lady. What is this? Oh, Wonder Woman. Eh, they printed up like a million bags. I guess why not use them? Oh my God, the movie comes out in movie theaters on June 5th. We've got to get our tickets. Oh wait, never mind. What's a movie theater? It's an out defunct place where a large group of infected people would all go to sit in a room together. Like you'd watch a movie with strangers? Like a bigger version of your living room? 
Yeah, and even though a lot of these movies are ready to be released, the studios are scared to put them on streaming services. They'd rather wait for the large disease rooms to open back up. Yeah, and much more expensive to go to as well. That's why they're waiting. But studios are going to have a big surprise waiting for them when these movie theaters never open up again. <laughs> oh, Jay, we're back in business. Business is booming. I had a client call earlier today, and he said he did watch everything on Netflix. Oh. So he went downstairs and he found his great, 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 great grandfather's VHS tapes. Oh. And he found all these movies from the late 90s that he hasn't seen. So he dusted off this box that his great, 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 grandpa called a VCR and he wanted us to fix it. Now this young man was born in 2017 and he says before he goes off to college he wants to watch these movies from 2008. These classics, these vintage classics on VHS and he wanted us to fix his VCR and I've gotten maybe 30 phone calls like this. Oh. The catalogs of Amazon Prime, Netflix, Hulu, Apple Plus, all the streaming services, they've watched it all. All these young kids today, they've watched all the programs and they want to watch something called Jeremy Maguire on a VHS cassette and they want us to fix their VCRs. And you know what I told him, Jay? Right in the very end of that call, I said, let me get out my appointment book, let me get out my pen. And I told him that we couldn't do it. Oh God, I finally made it home from Mexico. Oh my God! It's just how I left it. Oh, oh, I'm so relieved. I was sure those two knuckleheads were gonna trash the place. Oh, 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 oh. Oh no, I left my wallet in Tijuana. Oh. Uh. 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 Sir, get off my shoe, sir. That's my shoe. Uh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Half in the bag. <sighs> well, Jay, it's official. Wisconsin has locked down again. <sighs> Fuck, man. This is the third time we've sheltered in place, reopened, and then sheltered in place again. I'm starting to think no one has any idea what they're doing. What? Oh, fuck it. I say we just all get coronavirus and get it over with. We'll probably lose Betty White, but who cares? She wore blackface! And with California closing down again, who will make all these terrible movies that we endlessly complain about? Ah, Jay, do you remember the good old days when there was a new Marvel or Star Wars movie released every five days or so? Now we have to wait till 2025 to see Black Widow in the movie theaters when they reopen if they reopen. Well, they did reopen last week, and I actually did go to see a movie. I had to download a Chinese app in order to download a different Russian app that linked to my bank account in order to buy a ticket from something called Movie Ticket Magic. It was very sketchy. <laughs> right. Then when you walk into the theater, they take your temperature and make you stand in a plexiglass box where a teenager in a hazmat suit scans your phone with some weird device. The device has all sorts of weird radiation stickers all over it. It kind of freaked me out a little bit. Well, I tried to buy concessions at the movie theater. Oh my God. I couldn't wait in line because of social distancing, so I had to download a North Korean app called Popcorn Magic in order to buy concessions. I placed my order on my cellular phone and a drone emerged from the ceiling to bring me my popcorn and soda. After it had delivered my popcorn and soda, it disinfected the area with some kind of antiseptic mist 
Most of it got in my food and in my eyes. After the drone flew away, it lost control and crashed into an elderly couple, setting them afire. They screamed and screamed and yelled aloud, Help! We're on fire! A teenager rushed over with a fire extinguisher and tried to spray them. But because of social distancing, the fire extinguisher couldn't reach them. So he did the only thing he could, watch them burn. Well, in my theater, they only sold five seats out of a hundred because of social distancing. But it's okay because the ticket was discounted to $1.50. It's a business model that's sure to last. Well, I was the only one in my theater, Jay. But right before I went to see the movie, I had read an article that said coronavirus can get into your eyes and into your ears. So while I was at the movie, I wore earplugs, eye patches over both eyes, and a facial mask. Hmm. So how'd you even see the movie or eat your concessions? What? Jesus Christ. What'd you say about Jeff Sessions? I said, how'd you see the movie or eat your concessions? Oh, I didn't do either. The movie was The Matrix, so I've seen it before. You know, Jay, I've been watching a lot of streaming movies lately. Would you like to talk about, say, two that we've both seen? <laughs> Mike, I can honestly say I've never worn blackface. What? 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 So how long do we have to stay in the VCR repair shop anyway? I don't know. I guess until there's a vaccine. Or they say it's okay to go back out to the bars again. Then we get coronavirus, we all panic, rethink our two option only strategy, and then all go back inside again. Oh, Brian Singer is trending again. Oh my God, is he finally getting charged with something? No, Hollywood is so desperate for new content that they're finally letting him direct the Newsies reboot that he's always wanted to make for some reason. <sighs> so anybody can get canceled for something they did 15 years ago, but Brian Singer doesn't get canceled for doing 15 year olds. There it is. Half in the bag. A fucking goat can review movies better than these assholes. So this is weird, Boomer. This is called a book. I've been reading lots of these lately because I've run out of new movies to watch. That's true, that's true. We've been stuck inside the VCR repair shop for almost a month now. Oh my God. Jay, can you believe this old bottle of empty Dan Aykroyd vodka is haunted? Oh my God. I trapped a Dybbuk inside it. Holy shit. And uh, sometimes at night, I'll place it here and the next morning when we come in, it's like over here. Oh. So, I don't know. I think this belongs in Zach Baggins' haunted museum. Give us a call, Baggins. We got shit to sell you. We got so much haunted stuff. Rich Evans' underwear. Oh my God, that's the most haunted of all. It's haunted by the ghosts of thousands of farts. <laughs> <sighs> well, another day fixing VCRs in the quarantine. Am I right, Jay? Oh. Lightning fast VCR repair. This is Mike. Ah, hello, Mr. Jones. You're outside? Okay. Uh, yeah, it's all done. Yeah, no, 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 no. Don't come in. Wait in your car, the designated parking spot. I'll be out with your VCR in a minute. Yeah, yeah, you, you paid over the phone. Yep. Okay. I'll be right out. Thank God we're an essential business. I know, I know. I gotta put my mask on and sure. go give him the, the VCR. Okay. Yeah, you do that, I'll wait here. It's good as new. Yeah. Hmm?
Half in the bag. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? I can't believe we've been stuck here for over a month now. And I can't believe that the last movie we watched before all the streaming services went offline was Money Plane. What a waste. And even the fucking cable TV doesn't work. Ever since China nuked all of our satellites. What a year. We can't even watch all the rioting that's happening in Chicago live on TV anymore. I know, I know. I'm very curious to see how much of Portland, Oregon has burned down. Well, I'll tell you this, I'll never visit occupied territory, formerly known as New York City, ever again. <sighs> Jay, did you ever think we'd be living in RoboCop 2? Yes. There is a silver lining to all this, though. I mean, at least the power grid is still on. We've got plenty of VHS tapes in the back to watch. And we've got Grubhub. Oh, no, Mike, don't you remember? Grubhub won't deliver here anymore after the last delivery driver got a hernia from carrying in all your food. Ah, oh, that's right. If we get really desperate, we could eat all the rats that live in the back of the shop. But with our luck, the rats will have the bubonic plague. And the saddest thing is that my birthday came and went, and nobody even noticed. You're wrong, Jay. I noticed. Wait, right here. What is this, some sort of surprise? I got you a birthday cake. Oh my God. Wow, with candles and everything. Although it's kind of sad. I probably shouldn't blow them out, you know, just in case I'm asymptomatic. No worries, Jay. I thought about that too. These are actually self blow outing birthday candles. Oh, so they're just like regular candles and you just wait for them to die out? No, no, no. They're e-candles. I paid a thousand dollars for all these. They have some kind of digital timer in them that knows when to blow out. They even have a little microphone in each one that can tell when you're done singing the happy birthday song. Super advanced technology. Very expensive. Wow, that's... I, I guess you never know what they're gonna come up with next. Well, it's good we got these face shields. Where did you say you got these candles? I got them at the fireworks store. The guy there sold them to me for a special discount. It's funny. I didn't know they sold birthday candles at the fireworks store. I'm so stupid. Speaking of stupid, do you want to talk about money plane? Sure. Are you gonna eat that? Fuck it. <sighs> you know, it's been weeks since we've had a VCR repair job. Yeah, you'd think there'd be an uptick since all the streaming services are offline. If it wasn't for those newfangled DVD players, tons of people would be needing our services. My DVDs aren't, uh, never mind. Hey, what do we do now? Well, since we can't watch TV, movies, or riots, maybe we should look into bettering ourselves. You know, I'm gonna start working out more. I'm gonna get into shape. Maybe I'll take up meditation or yoga. Get in touch with my spiritual side. Yeah, you know, before we became VCR repairmen, I was writing a novel. What? 
Really? Yeah, it, it's been my dream since I was little to be an author. You know, write the great American novel. I've been thinking about revisiting that. You know, reflecting on my dreams, aspirations, and honing that into a novel that will inspire and hopefully- Oh, Netflix is back. Oh, thank God. Nice. Oh yeah, 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 nice. Wait, wait a minute. Whoa. Are those chicks? Are those chicken? Yeah, it's a chicken. Please, pabuksan ang tubig. Salamat. There's chickens. There's yeah. chickens? Yeah. And rabbits and bunnies. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay. Rose. Rose. Yes, I'm here. Oh, I dropped it, so... Thank you. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. You're done. Oh my God. Half in the bag. I'm Bill S. Preston Esquire. I am Ted. And together, we are... Wild Stallions! Well, Mike, I'm done boarding up all the doors and windows. What? What happened now? Everything. Hey, what are you watching? Oh! It's the new Bill and Ted movie! Bill and Ted Face the Music! That's not the new movie, that's the embarrassing Bill and Ted TV series from 1992. Oh! I was wondering why Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter look so different. Here, I'll, I'll put on the new movie. Oh, good. Dude. Yeah? The future. Yeah. Oh my god! Why do Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter look so different? Well, I mean, it has been 30 years since the last Bill and Ted movie. What? No, it's been... Oh, I think my watch stopped working. <sighs> we have to wait until coronavirus is over. Ow. Ow, it's not over yet. Do you hear that cricket? Yeah, I do. Does that mean our joke didn't land? I've been hearing it for this entire discussion, so I think it means that none of our jokes landed. Oh, no. <laughs> I think we're going to be stuck in this VCR repair shop for a long time. Because of coronavirus! I don't know. If we got nothing but time, you want to just watch Bill and Ted face the music again? <sighs> sure, why not? Going to. Things have definitely been better. We totally can't rehearse. And our Wild Stallions banner has been most unceremoniously reduced. No way. Yes way. We're completely stumped, Rufus. Totally at odds with this dilemma. Be be excellent. excellent. Party, Party on. on. Mike, this is the embarrassing failed Bill and Ted TV series from 1992 again. Does it matter? <laughs> oh, Mike. Nothing matters anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Half in the bag. Please say honestly you won't give up on me. Mm -mm. I don't get it. Whose fing hand is that? And why would she leave the door to her hotel room unlocked? I don't get it. Doesn't she remember what happened to that guy when OJ tried to steal back his sports memorabilia? Oh, jeez. Oh, I really want to drink this coffee, but 
I don't know if you can see on camera, a chip piece of glass came off my, my Jabba the Hutt mug. I may have already swallowed it. It may have fallen on the floor or it might be in the liquid. So I've got three options. Okay. One is a bad one. Drinking it? Having already swallowed it. Well, is the that's, bad that's the worst one, yeah. Yeah, but if I drink it very slowly and sort of filter it, I may catch it before I ingest <laughs> ceramic. Sharp. There's actually a fourth option, which is that you move the liquid to a different cup. That's an option. Whoa, there's brand new Halloween cups over there. Can you hey, get Hey, there you go, yeah. Hold on, everybody. <laughs> so hold on. If you need to go use the restroom. These haven't even been opened. Okay, good. That means they're probably uh, sort of clean. Uh, eventually we might, oh, this one's got a giant crack in it. Uh, eventually we might talk about some streaming things, but this is more important. All right, here we go. If you're just coming back from the bathroom now, I'm pouring the liquid in here to make sure there's no... Oh my God, it's spilling everywhere. It's all over the keyboard. I found it. Did you really? I found it, everybody. <laughs> I found it. Oh. Show it off to the camera. This is important. I could, I could sleep. Hey, look at that! I could sleep well at night. Uh, I found the, the chip. So whoever sent this in, I will not be suing you <laughs> uh, for my, my bleeding ulcer that will result from this. So I found it. And now I can drink my coffee out of a plastic Halloween novelty cup. Uh, this with, is legitimately the best news I've heard in months. And this is one of the most riveting half of the bags we've <laughs> ever done, Jay. Oh, it flew right on the PPE. Oh, God. Someone's going to inhale it. So one of our, our, our heroes at the hospital. I'm going to put it in the shot glass. Mm. Now that, putting it in a different glass that's meant to consume a liquid is probably also a bad idea. Why don't you just dump it on the floor, Jay? Okay. Okay, now. Huh. Why is there a gun on the table? Jay, do you know anything? Oh my God. Jay's been dead this whole time. I wonder what will happen next. All right, Chef, winding it down. 10, 9, 8, Ooh. 7, 6, 5, 4. Come on, come on, get it plated. Well, Mike, it sure has been a great year for movies. <coughs> what happened? Oh, nothing. I, what, I didn't even hear what you said. I just, like, it went down the wrong pipe. Oh. As they say, you know? Was it a cough or a sneeze? It just, it just like... Was it a dry cough? Do you have a fever? I, I don't have any, any symptoms of, of COVID. Oh. But, yeah, it was just, just the, the cough. It just... <coughs> they really, like appeared to be what they call a spit take. Yeah, like a reaction, I say something outrageous. <laughs> right, right, it's yes. Very, it's a staple of comedy. Right, and um, it, it in no way was a spit take because I, I did not hear what you said. You said, what? Oh, I was saying, it, it's uh, sarcastically, I was saying it's been a great year for movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, it happened again. It just, uh, I don't know, something's, wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. It's weird. So it's just a coincidence that it keeps happening whenever I sarcastically say that it's been a great year for movies. You thought it was gonna happen again! Oh my god! Half in the bag. I put pizza rolls in my VCR so I could watch them on TV, but it didn't work. In case you're wondering, I'm not drinking out of the Jabba the Hutt coffee mug that has a chip in it. No, this is a brand new one that you can uh, break a chip off of. Right, the old one is right here with the chip, and uh, as you can see, all the leftover coffee in it has horribly molded, mm -hmm. as coffee always does. I just wanted to make sure no one drank out of it. Half in the bag. Uh, so Jay, what else did you see? I'm thinking of ending things. What? We just started this VCR repair shop business 14 years ago. How could you? 
How am I ever going to find another person equally qualified to fix and or repair VCRs as good as you, Jay? I better start going to monster.com to look for applicants. VCR repair, I guess I should write person and not be sexist, person. Zero results. Hmm, I guess I'll go to LinkedIn. LinkedIn, VCR repair person. Zero results. Oh no, Mike, I was talking about the motion picture. I'm thinking of ending things. Oh, right. Also, I want to kill myself. <laughs> Hey, why is there a gun on the tape? Oh my God!